back to my channel so today's video I'm really excited to be filming this because I'm going to be doing a makeup look using the new 39s palette from morphe I just got it in today and I was like you know what I need to film a video and they're releasing this on what is it today is May 13th so they're releasing it May 14 so definitely get your hands on it use code pretty grace for some money off and let me show you guys the palette it is so beautiful i'm gonna remove the little plastic on here and this is what they look like so beautiful i cannot wait to create looks with this so let me know what you guys think about this palette are you guys thinking of getting it um yeah so let me know and Let's go ahead and create a makeup look. I want to do something purpley with pink because there are some um, purples and pinks in here. So I'm definitely going to be using this pink right here and this purple. So let's go ahead and do that. So first off, I'm going to start off with a crease color. And I think I will go with that pink that I showed you guys. And that pink is going to go right onto the crease. I'm going to move my mirror a little bit over here. So before I do that, I'm going to set actually because my I did my eyebrows, but I forgot to set it. So I'm just going to go ahead and set. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and use that pink. And I'm going to apply it right onto my crease. Oh, I'm gonna fall out. Okay, let me. I'm gonna go ahead and put some setting powder under the eyes. I didn't think I was gonna get fall out. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some setting powder. I'm just apply this right on the crease again. I'm just working my the, the color into my crease. It's okay if it's messy. We're going to go back and clean it up anyways. But I just want to make sure that my crease color is there. Alright, moving on. I'm going to go with that purple shade. This one right here. I'm going to go ahead and um, apply this right onto my crease. And I'm using a Morphe R39 brush. This is going to look blue on camera, I have a feeling. So I'm just going to apply this right on my crease as well. I'm bringing it in and then just blending it out. It's okay if it looks like a hot mess right now, guys. We will definitely make it work. Trust me. So I'm just going to this right on the crease then i'm going to go back with that same brush with the pink shadow and i'm going to start cleaning that out so i'm just going back and forth kind of cleaning the crease a little bit We will go back to it. We're just going to leave it alone for now. I'm going to grab the Morphe M520 brush. And I think I will grab this shimmer right here. This is like a topper for the shadows. But I'm going to grab this one. And I'm going to oh, interrupt it. I'm going to grab it and put this right onto my brow bone. Just to give me a little bit of shimmer. That is very pretty. Oh my god. I 
Wow, that's pretty. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So moving on, I'm trying to think what I want to put on my crease. I'm actually going to carve it out if I can find my um, my 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 brush that I used to carve out my crease. I have so many brushes that I think I should probably kind of have them organized, but I get lazy to do it. So I'm just gonna use a Morphe M705 brush and I'm gonna use this to carve out my crease just a little bit. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of concealer. I'm just gonna use this one because I can't find the other one. I'm gonna apply a little bit of concealer to the back of my hand just to help me. And then I'm just gonna go in and carve out the crease. So I don't want to go too high up, so you don't you can't see that purple anymore. So I'm just gonna do it right here. I think I'm good with that. So I'm going to go ahead and set that just a little bit. I usually don't like setting it, but I feel like it's a little too wet for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and set it. I'm actually going to go back with that same purple and then kind of just clean out the edges. Now take your time. So I think I'm going to go with this pink right here. And I'm going to apply this all over the, I was going to say brow bone for some reason. I'm going to apply this right onto the lid. I'm kind of just cleaning my brush a little bit. And then I'm going to spray it with a little bit of setting spray. Well, since that one is a Let's see, I'm actually thinking I want to apply another color under, no I think that's fine. I'll just add that pink shadow right into the lid. Oh wow, since it's like a topper, it kind of, oh I like it. Oh this is very pretty, I don't know if you guys can see that. All right, so I'm gonna clean out the fallout. And then I'm just gonna go back with that same purpley blue shadow and just kind of clean, kind of sweep it in here a little bit. Clean out the fallout. And going back again with that um, pinkish color, I'm kind of just Reapply it just so that you can still see that it's there. Wow, that's a very pretty color, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I'll be back so we can finish the rest. Alright, so I went ahead and did my other eye off camera. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply my lashes. I'm using the Into You from the Bold Cosmetics bold makeup i always say their name wrong for some reason and this was the into you lashes 
definitely check them out i'll link them down below if you guys are interested in getting some lashes i really like the lashes dude like you can literally wear them a bunch of times and they're still fine i just like to take off like the old eyelash glue and wear them again so that's what i'm doing now just removing the old eyelash glue and then just applying new eyelash glue you guys gotta be careful when you remove the old eyelash glue because you might rip your lashes it's happened to me when i was barely learning how to recycle my lashes so so i'm gonna wait for them to get tacky a little bit i'm actually gonna do my under eye um bottom lash line so i'm just going to use a makeup wipe to clean my brush a little bit and i think i will go with that pink again and i'm going to apply this right in the lower lash line i'm not gonna go all the way in because i, I want to put another color there damn it i dipped it in the wrong one And then I'm going back with that little purple one and then I'm going to reapply that right on the lash line as well so you kind of want to be able to see both of the colors so so I'll be going back and forth with both colors Just for the inner corner, I'm going to spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray and applying that same lip color that I applied. I'm just going to apply it in the inner corner. Right there. I just wanted something purpley. And since this is a topper, you can definitely... Um, apply this on top of any other eyeshadow so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes grab my mirror and i'm going to apply them as close as i can to my real lashes i feel like the lashes are the ones that pull the look together so i'm gonna put the other one Just waiting for them to get a little to dry a little bit because still kind of moving around and then i'm just going to go ahead and apply some mascara i'm going to be using the milk makeup kush mascara the waterproof one them to dry and then just kind of apply a little bit just to bond them together like so if you guys do recreate my makeup look this one or any other one definitely tag me on instagram or send it to me on snapchat or you can you guys use hashtag pretty little miss grace and i will definitely post them repost them on my story on instagram if you guys are interested and you guys are want to get a little shout out you know definitely tag me let me know um so yeah 
Okay, so moving on, I definitely want to apply some highlighter. So I'm going to go with the Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter and Blissful. I think that's the one I want to go with. Yeah. Um, I have a discount for this one as well. Pretty great for somebody else if you guys are interested in getting a discount on the highlighter. So I'm going to spray my brush a little bit. I have no idea what brush this is. I got this a long time ago. It's an old brush, so you can tell. So I'm just going to apply this. All right, so for lips, I don't even know what I want to do for lips. I guess, is this one too light? I do have a lot of like, we'll try this one, see how it looks. If not, then I'm going to have to remove it and put a new one. Um, so I'm going to use the Time Los Angeles. This one is the Lux Life. We'll see how it looks. Hopefully it's not too light for me. I do have another one in here. No, this one's more lighter. All right. So go ahead. Oops, drop that. All right. Mm, it's a little too light for my liking. Maybe I could have done like a pencil or something. I'll just do a gloss on top. I'll use the Morphe gloss. Hold on, you can help it. A little bit. Okay, I guess. All right, so um, this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Don't forget to pause this video and run and get yourself this palette before it sells out. Um, definitely use my code. You can buy this in store or online and just let them know you want to use the pretty, pretty grace for some money off and they'll definitely scan it. Um, but yeah, look how beautiful this palette is. Um, if you want me to create more makeup looks with this palette, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and I'll definitely get, try to get to those videos. And yeah, so this is the final look. I really hope you guys like it. I really like how it looks. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. Thank you for all you subscribers that have been here since my OG years. It means so much to me. And you guys are still here, even though I'm boring and I do the same looks over and over, but it's okay. It's all right, guys. It's all right. Thank you guys for staying around. But anyways, don't forget to comment, subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.